We're at the Alaska Helicopter Tours, where we're going to take a helicopter tour up to the top of the glacier, and then we're going to go dog sledding for two miles around the top of the glacier. Come join us on our adventure. Look at these snow cat peaks everywhere. It's beautiful. We're waiting here, we're about to get on the helicopter, doing the dog sled trip. Here we go, we're going on the helicopter ride. All the way up to the top of the mountains, do dog sledding. Oh, I'm really excited. This is pretty crazy. All right, here we go, guys. This is gonna be awesome. <laughs> the girls are getting in their helicopter. Woo! See you later, guys. See you on top. Woo! All right, here we go. Get in the helicopter. Whoa! This is gonna be wild. Oh man, this is crazy. Go.
30 minute, 30, uh, 30 minute flight, 30 minute landing on the glacier. Um, and then they'll head back. And then we also have a Grand Connect tour, which is a two hour long tour, 45 minutes of flight. And we leave in three different areas. Is there ever a time in Alaska where it doesn't have snow? Uh, yeah, remember how I was talking about the fern line? So above the fern line, the snow won't melt out and the glaciers don't melt out annually. But below the fern line, all the snow will melt out. Oh, okay. Alright, I am very glad we went to Alaska. This, this is, this is amazing. Wow. I don't even know what else to say, but wow. <laughs> Look how beautiful the powder is. I mean, it's just like, almost looks like the Sahara Desert, but like, uh, That's snowing up there? Yeah. Uh, it, it looks like there wasn't that much space to the dog sledding, but then you get up here and it's, 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 it's really a mile across. This is a two mile long mush you guys are going to do. Yeah, and you realize the scale, how, how big things are. Look at all the dogs. Look at all the cute dogs. The girls are getting out of the helicopter. We just flew all the way up here. It's chilly out. We flew all the way up here. Definitely want to dress warm when you come up here. Girls, what do you think? Oh honey, look at this. <laughs> Can you believe this? Oh, we're up at the top of a mountain. Oh my goodness. The girls are playing in the snow. Hey honey, honey, I'm pretty sure you're gonna get to go dog sledding. Oh my goodness. We're pretty good. sure you're gonna get to go dog sledding. All right guys, if you wanna just gather up over here with me for me. One thing we wanna pay attention to when you're driving the tag sled is that we keep this line nice and tight. I set up my feet. Girls like the dogs. The dogs are excited. They're exciting, girls. Oh, it's so crazy. Oh, he likes you. Yeah, buddy. Hi. He's excited. He's excited. Oh. Honey, can you believe where we are right now? Oh my gosh. Can you believe it? This is my dream, and I didn't think it was going to happen, and I didn't believe it was going to happen, and it happened. And I'm actually going to go on a dog sled. So he's setting up the dogs on the, on the, the dog musher so we can go dog mushing. Oh, I can't. This is gonna be so much fun, and we got the sled that the sled that we're gonna we're gonna be going on. Grandma and Grandpa are about to take off. They're gonna go dog sledding. The dogs are real excited. Woo! There we go, there we go, there we go, they're taking off! Woo! Go, Grandma, Grandpa! Woo! There they go! Woo! Place in life, just one more. Michelle's getting set up to go. If, you, if I asked you to stop. Girls, are you excited? Oh my goodness, you're going dog sledding! How exciting is this? Oh my gosh! Yeah, woo! So guys, we're gonna switch. Who wants to ride with mom first? Who wants to ride in the front? You're right with mom? All right, we'll put you in the front then. So we're gonna sit right here. Awesome. Hold, hold it, hold it, hold the dog. Hold it. Straight ahead, straight ahead. Good boys. This is fun, guys. We're off. We're off. We're going. Woohoo! This is awesome. Woo! Hey, Elizabeth, we're going to 
good, buddy. Hey, let your dog sledding. All right, so I'm gonna have you hit that metal bar for me. Tom, I'm dog sledding. This is so awesome. I'm tearing up. You're tearing up? I'm tearing up. Oh, here he comes. I will trade with you again. Make it up. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask away. I got a lot of knowledge about these dogs. My mom is sick of listening to me talk about it, so I got to tell somebody. Yeah. So ask some questions. Ava? Ava, do you have any questions? No. Or Michelle? This is awesome. Now, these are not your dogs. These are not my dogs. These dogs are all owned by a gentleman named Dallas CV. If you guys are familiar with the Iditarod, it is a 1,000 mile sled dog race. That's what they're all up here training for. Dallas is the most winningest musher of all time. He won his sixth Iditarod this year. So now he stands alone as the most wins of all time and he's only 36 years, or 37 years old. And so you train his dogs in the summer then? Exactly, so this is their summer training right here is instead of being down there in the ground where there's no snow, they get to come up here where we have snow year round. And as well as it helps fund everything, so it's not that cheap to feed 150 dogs. So it helps fund that. And they get to I'm dog sledding with the girls. And do what they want. Woo! Whoa, that's another dog sledding. Woo! So. I have a question. What's your question? How cold is it today? Today, right now, oh, I'm terrible at judging this. I'd guess around 30 degrees. 30 degrees? Yes, 35. This morning before the sun came up, so the sun is right there to your left. Yeah. So it hides behind those mountains. And oh, I see. I can see. Look. Or eight. 8 o'clock-ish. That is a beautiful view too where you see the sun coming through. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, wow. A little, little, little bit of light there. Yeah, this morning when I woke wow. up, it must have been about 10 degrees out. It was freezing. Wow, look how far away we are. Elizabeth, look how far away we are. <laughs> Camp's way over there. Um, glaciers are technically a form of a river, so they're slowly flowing downhill every single day nonstop. Do so you see these big cracks over to the right? They're kind of covered with snow, but you can see where the cracks are over on that hill. Okay, the cracks? That's because when the mountain kind of goes like this and then curves, the ice can't flex to cover that curve. So what it does is it cracks open and creates these big 100 foot, 200 foot cracks in the ice that basically you don't want to fall into. That's why our camp is down here. Oh, All right, am. since you're driving, you want to do me a favor? What? Whenever you're ready, yell, ready, all right, as loud as you can, okay? All right, Ava. Ready, all right. Louder. Loud, as loud as you can. A little louder. Oh, they heard you. Here they go. You did it. You're dog sledding. This is perfect. Oh, you're dog sledding. Did it make your trip, honey? Oh, my goodness. This is the thing I want to do most. And I was like, I cannot get excited. I cannot get excited because it cancels a lot because of weather, you know? A lot. I cannot believe you, we're up here mushing. You want to know something crazy? Is you guys are my third tour I've done this year. This is my 10th day up here. Oh, wow. I usually do five to six tours a day. Do you worry about avalanches? Um, so we do get a lot of avalanches, but they stay all over that way. Um, basically, when it gets sunny out, the snow starts to melt a little more, and we legitimately call it avalanche TV. And on the nice nights, we sit out in our lawn chairs, and we'll oh. just sit there and watch the avalanches. That's and awesome. It's every 30 seconds to a minute. It is one of the most phenomenal things I've ever seen. This is awesome. I have to say the helicopter ride up was was epic and this is epic. It's like nothing nothing's nothing's not amazing. The helicopter ride's one of my favorite things about this job too. It's just like yeah, it's so beautiful and, and the scale you don't realize how how, how uh, like big things are. Oh yeah. Because I, I thought this wasn't very big and then you get down here, it's like holy mackerel. <laughs> oh, every you know? time I leave, I'm like, that's it. That's where I live. Yeah, it's like, a tiny little speck like, and you huge. get and it's, yeah, it's huge. Yeah. Go boys. Go boys. Look at you going around a turn. All right, so Ooh. Ava, I'm gonna have you stomp on that brake right in the middle for me. All your weight on it, both feet, both feet. Awesome, and then we can get you driving or you can drive again, man. Ready, all right. Say it again, yeah, there we, we go. go. Woo, Woo. 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 Oh, it is, all right. And we're like, what, 6,000 feet above uh, sea level, probably? About 5,000. 5,000? Woo! So just for some reference, because it's really hard to tell, 
This is about 1,500 feet above where we are, and the ones over there, that top peak, is about 3,500 above where we are. Wow. So there's 1,000 foot peaks surrounding us right now. All around us. And you really feel like you're on dog sled. We got snow slapping us in the face, too. Snow dusting in the face. The real Alaskan experience. The real Alaskan experience. This is what we right. wanted. There you go. Perfect. So we do um, six days on, three days off, theoretically. Um, with the weather, I've spent up to 11 days up here at a time. Wow. Go down and so you like the people that you're hanging out with all day? Oh yeah, we're a, we're a family up here. We do family dinners every night. It's always a good time. Dad. We're going again. Are you cute? They're so adorable and we got to pet one and it's just jumped. on the top of a glacier. Look at you go! You're amazing! Look at this! Woohoo! So we're on about 40 feet of snow right now and about a thousand feet of ice underneath that. Oh my goodness, 40 feet of snow. And oh then across the valley over there, those mountains are about seven miles away, just so you guys have some reference. Wow. It's really hard to tell reference up here. It is. So those mountains are seven miles away. We are having so much fun. Like, look at the dogs. Aren't they cute? It's just mountain view everywhere. <laughs> it's so much fun. <laughs> Going so fast. Look at the dogs. We're going again. Are they cute? Ready, all right. Good boys. Woo! Dog sledding. Woo! This is the most amazing experience in the world. Even when we finish this run. You'll probably see some dogs are either going to lay down, like put their belly in the snow or rub their legs in the snow. And that's how they cool themselves down. It's like a cooling method. Um, you'll probably see a couple of them do that. Just because their ideal running temperature is negative 10 degrees Fahrenheit. What? Yeah, it's negative 10 is when they're comfortable. Oh, yeah. That is crazy. Yeah, and they can run down to basically whatever. Like negative. I did. Well, my boy was doing a run. He said it hit negative 60. I didn't realize how, how cold they can handle. I was always like worried about them. This is on the warmer side. All right, so up here, yes. there's a split in the trail. Do you know how to make them go left and right? I can't remember which one's which. All right, so ha is ha. left. Okay. When I raise my arm in the air, yell ha three okay. times. Okay? Ha, ha, ha. Okay. Exactly. That sounds like I'm laughing, but okay. <laughs> it kind of does. <laughs> you can do it like ha. So it doesn't sound like you're laughing, but it's up to you. <laughs> All right. Ha! 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 Good boys! Woohoo! So basically, you just have them take this left right here. Oh my goodness. This is so cool. Keep going, boys! Keep going! I always got confused which one was which. The word hog? Like a pig, that's the best way to remember it. H is on the left, G is on the right. Okay. Because it's hot and G. Straight ahead, boys, straight ahead. Keep going, keep going. 40 feet of snow underneath us. I don't think we've ever experienced this much snow, even Tom and I. No, but never, like, never. Most people haven't. <laughs> we've done like, I don't know, three feet in Jersey. We got probably three or four feet in Michigan. Straight ahead, boys. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Good boys. This is amazing. This is his brother, Fox. The girls love dogs. That's probably the favorite part of the whole trip. Uh, Me and dogs. Here. They're good. They can hop oh, on both okay. sides. So each litter has a theme. That's how we can keep track of who's related to who. These guys have a Harry Potter theme. So it's Scabbers, Fox, there's a Mrs. Say, Norris. If does it, you know. Uh-huh. Girls, are you getting to 
the pet and love on the doggies. Yeah. yeah. You guys want to say hi to Jeff? You want to go say hi to Jeff? Hi Jeff's face Jeff. is all dirty because he just shoved his face into the snow, but he's a sweet little guy. <laughs> you girls love dogs, don't you? Yeah. Hey, yeah. you love dogs? Yeah. They did awesome, though. Oh, shaky shakies. Oh my goodness, guys, are you giving them love? Oh my gosh, Aunt Andrea has a little boy named Wesley. <laughs> so his litter is only two people, and oh, a boy and a girl. Oh, they're such beautiful dogs. What was your experience? Honey? How did you enjoy oh it? Oh my goodness, this is my dream. I can't believe we got a dog I'm sled. I'm say hi after, I promise. Oh, you and I got to do it. That dog so, was like, Up next, we me. have Berg and Fjord. Okay. These boys both ran the Iditarod this year. Oh, they ran the Iditarod this year, they girls. Did. Hi. Yeah, girl, girl. Oh, wait, wait. So, how, what's the girl to boy ratio? So, we um, usually, this is actually the first year we've had a girl up here, but we usually have all males. So, this is Toe. Toe is one of my favorite dogs to bring inside at the end of the night because he'll sleep directly on your chest. Oh, he'll he is an you absolute get to sleep with the dogs? Oh, yeah, every night. I'm sure that keeps you warm, though. Absolutely. Their, little, their body. Oh, yeah. So this is your, your boy. Yeah. So you got to be smart about it. On the wet days when it's raining, you got to pick the dogs that you know like to sleep on the floor. And on the days that it's really cold, you bring the dogs in that will sleep on your chest. Uh, oh, he loves He's getting excited. Oh, yeah. You like the dog, so a big tip, the dogs like the microphone cover and they think it's a toy. Or the dead cat. This is, this is the home they stay up in here at night for seven days at a time. They come in here. It is. This is, what, this is where they can stay inside for an entire, entire week, week at a time. This is their sleeping area. And I guess this all gets flown in through through uh, a helicopter. I probably have that we came up with the supplies because I have some extra. Kitchen area. I thought awesome. it was a sleeping area. I guess you have no, all this behind your spaces. This is their hangout this spot. This is the emergency wow. sleeping area. We got a little pull out bed here. Back home, that's when it's 
snowed. Oh, okay, okay. So we hit a little snow, but it wasn't bad, you know, it wasn't sticking. Yeah. We were concerned about the rain and it started snowing. <laughs> <laughs> I'd take snow over rain any day. Oh, yeah. Huge avalanche scar right here. Wow, look at the avalanche ah, scar. That. Yeah, crush all those trees. Or... There's some doll sheep sitting up here, right next to the waterfall. There are the white dots along the hillside. Oh, I see, I see the thing on my camera. Oh, I like, there's a truck right there for size. Yeah, look at yeah, that. Truck, truck down there for size. Wow, yeah, we really are up high. It doesn't seem like we are. No. The scale definitely changes up here. <laughs> yep. Uh, we were told you had an epic snow year. We had a really good snow year. Do you have a lot of skiing around here? Or oh, yeah. How was it? Daddy, we saw a mountain goat. You saw a mountain goat? Oh, no.